Today I'm going to mix up some sugar, so I thought I'd uh, show my sugar mixer. There's a lot of background noise. They're cutting a hole in somebody's foundation next door. So This is just a 55-gallon barrel that I got uh, at Max Hardware. And in the bottom I've got, uh, I think it's a third horsepower sump pump. And then it's got inch and a half PVC pipe. It goes uh, up and around. I got a T, boiler drain, and a 90 uh, quarter turn ball valve. And it goes right down in the bottom where it uh, connects with a 90. So then this boiler drain, I have a piece of washing machine hose hooked up. And as you can see, I have uh, that's that's a 20 pound or excuse me a 20 gallon uh, barrel that I also bought at Max. It's got a boiler drain on it. The other end of the uh, washing machine hose hooks up to that. So uh, there's my sugar, and according to the math, it takes uh, six gallons. Yeah, six gallons of water. And uh, there seems to be a heck of a lot of confusion as to how to figure out what um, ratio that you need. So, I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see this. So, I've got 50 pounds of sugar. So, for a one to one ratio, you need 50 pounds of water. And you have a lot of people that say a pint's a pound the world round and all those catchy phrases, but I don't know what any of that means. So what I do is I just do 50 divided by the weight of a gallon of water, which is 8.34 pounds equals, we need 6 gallons of water. That's good for one to one. So if you're mixing two to one, in this case, it would be three gallons of water. So get this set up. And I'll be back. So then goes the first five gallons. And it goes one gallon more, so we got a total of six gallons. Now that we've got the water in there, we can plug it in. We've got some circulation.
just let it mix for a while. Alright, so it's been mixing for about five minutes. Looks pretty good to me. So now what I'll do, is I'm going to transfer it to that uh, it's a 20 gallon jug. And what I need to do is, I need to make sure this valve is open, obviously, and take the bung out so we can let the air out. And over here, just choke this down a little bit, open this boiler valve. transferring the sugar syrup to the 20 gallon jug that I'll use to take out to the V yard. Once I get everything transferred over I'll take this uh, washing machine hose off and I switch this clear vinyl tube which will go in its place and I just use these watering cans for going between the hives. I'm sure it's a lot easier than using a spoon and trying to get them blended together. So, uh, please like and subscribe. Thumbs up if you like it. Talk to you soon.